Hey everyone, I'm here at Deluxe Junk on Cordova in Gastown, where if you want to shop vintage, it is the place to go. And I'm joined by my friend Rod Hubick, who's going to tell us all about vintage. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Fiona. So tell us about Deluxe Junk first. How long have you guys been around? We've been around since 1973, so wow. we're closing in on 40 years. So you know what you're doing. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> and where do you find the stuff in the store? Because this is really like a huge treasure chest it of is. vintage. Um, benefit of being around for so long is that we have some wonderful consigners who we've been able to nurture. We have an outlook that's really 60s and earlier or totally modern right. with key pieces from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. They know what you're looking they for. They do know what we're well, looking for. Well, let's talk about vintage and how one can work it into their wardrobe. Excellent. What's Excellent. your advice on someone who's new to the vintage world? Well, um, first thing is um, you don't want to look completely like the era you, you're Like you just looking. walked out of the 1800s. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you want to incorporate those pieces with something from your modern closet. Right. And so, for example, what's really hot that um, one of the trends this season is your your early 20th century loungewear wearing out as outerwear. So what one, like the really nice lace lingerie, bringing it as outerwear. Exactly. Or a three-piece pajama suit, upscaling it with a nice handbag, right. uh, your, your outdoor boot and your hat, and, and going out and, and looking very... Posh. Okay, let's talk about another trend that people can work into their yes. wardrobes, and it's a piece that I'm wearing, the floral prints or any oh, kind yes. of print, bringing it forward to the modern age. Absolutely. Big and bold, whether geometric or floral, is really, really in. So doing what you're doing is, is perfect. Having nice tights, a nice little booty, and then just wearing a, something like a jacket that's embroidered. And you've gorgeous. got some pieces here that we're going to have a look at. Where should we begin? Let's begin, let's go the farthest back as okay. we can. So we've got some... Um, Art Nouveau hand embroidered shawls. Beautiful. They're, they are beautiful. Now, when is this one from? This is from the early teens or, or turn of the century, maybe 1905, 1906, it. It 1907. Brand new. It does. Again, this is something that's called a piano shawl. You yeah. put it on your baby grand. Yeah. And just, um, it's, yeah, all hand done. We have to talk about this beautiful oh, piece yes. of jewelry that I'm holding. I mean, you have such a great collection <laughs> of jewelry. This, but this piece, piece is, is stunning. It's solid sterling. It's a one of a kind piece that was commissioned for one of our best consigners. She's uh, immigrated from Europe in the mid uh, 20s. Uh, 20th century yeah. and this was created for her in the late 1940s yes yeah, solid sterling with moon opals and these moon opals have a little cross center and they'll follow your eye wherever you are in the room and the best thing about vintage and this piece is a perfect example if you're one of those people that wants to have something unique that no one else has I, this is the way to do absolutely. it and it's got a story too. absolutely now, speaking of stories we have to talk about the pink dress oh the Hattie Carnegie yes, this is Hattie amazing. Carnegie this is late 30s and it had its original price tag still on it's 100% silk, a strapless gown that you, well, it uh, has straps, but you can take the straps off. It's uh, by designer Hattie Carnegie, and Hattie Carnegie predates Chanel. It had its original price tag of $435 back in the 1940s. So if it was that expensive then, it's probably worth what now? It's, it's probably worth around 5000 How excited do you get, Rob, when oh, you find a piece like this with the goose pimples go up from on. my <laughs> hand all the way to my spine. It's phenomenal, especially yeah. you can't see pieces like this anymore. No, and it's in such beautiful, yeah, it's pristine in mint condition. condition. It's just phenomenal. Gorgeous. And let's talk about the red one that you've got. Oh, this is a great really 50s piece. Pretty. It's um, using of something from the mid to early 20th century called Cruel, and it's taken it into the 50s because it really, really wasn't used in the 50s later. Mm -hmm. But this is um, an early 50s acetate dress, short sleeved, and the detailing on it, it's just, uh, it's yeah. It's stunning. It's stunning. Now, you guys have moved on to the web, which has been a great yes. addition to yes, the store did. here. Tell us what you guys are doing in that regard. Um, we are on, we have a blog that we're on Tumblr, and that's a place where we can showcase some key pieces. And yes. what about Etsy? That's Etsy? the new thing for yes, vintage. Yes, it is. We've heard, um, it's something that um, a, a worldwide market really looks for its vintage pieces. And so we're started an Etsy account where we are putting our key jewelry and, and, and clothing on online. And you sale. must get, uh, opening the door on the internet must have just opened uh, you guys to such new collectors Absolutely. of vintage. Absolutely. We have, we have people worldwide from New York City to London. Now, now, for those people who might have some interesting things in their closet that they think might suit uh, yes. the deluxe junk yes. uh, way, what's your advice my, on how to consign? To call us at our phone, and um, we always have a very content, uh, new message of what we're looking for. Right. We're very seasonal, so we change our seasons every three months. It keeps us fresh. Um, we're always looking for pieces, no matter what vintage, as long as they work in with our modern right. sensibility. Our and modern. for spring, what are the big overreaching trends? We've got the prints. We've 
got the loungewear. Is there anything color-wise that pastels we're Pastels are always in, but this time the pastels are very pale. They're monochromatic. They're, they're, they're ice blues. They're the palest pinks, the frosty butter. Like, it's a real nice monochrome. Um, another big trend is color blocking. Right. So if you, you, spring is also about color and bright, bold colors, mm -hmm. but you're going to keep it to three pieces of colors. So. Right, and big, loud punches. Yes, nice big punches of color. Well, Rod, thank you so thank much. You. Uh, give yourself some time and check out Deluxe Junk. Come to the store and do some browsing. You'll learn a little bit of history and enjoy some great fashion. You can also find Deluxe Junk online. As Rod mentioned, they have a great blog, and you can just go straight to their website to find out more info. Thank you again. Thank you.